Whoa. <laughs> Yeah. Poundland. Haven't seen them this year. They were definitely on sale last year, the year before and the year before that. And I've modified it with the wooden stick and propeller and last flight I broke the propeller assembly so that's all glued back together. And we'll see if we can get some flights out of it. We're at Eastville Park. It's a little bit windier than I'd like but we'll give it a try last time it did best with the wind behind us flying away from the wind so I might try that again All right, the wind is directly behind me <clears throat> okay sort of heading into the wind a bit. What I did with previous versions of this was put sticky tape on the top wing tight so it actually curved the wing up and gave us a bit of dihedral. So I might have to do that just so it doesn't tip stall into the ground quite so easily. Right, we'll try it the opposite direction. Tilt in this way a bit. No, that's no good. I think the long nose and short tail doesn't help its stability when it's flying like this. Right, wind behind us. No. Okay. to the wind then. Oh, seems to go a bit more a bit more stable into the wind that time. Last time I tried it, it couldn't handle the wind at all. Whoa! <laughs> well, that was a good test of my repaired nose, and that survived. That was impressive. So high up this time. I do rather get the impression it's flying on the propeller rather than the wings supporting it and giving it lift.
We'll have one more go with the wind behind us and then we'll call it a day. So, wind behind us. Try and launch it level. Yeah. So it likes the wind behind it. <laughs> Which is not what it's supposed to do, but that's the best flight. So that will do for today. So my, my repair worked fine the repair up there. That's hot glue to actually hold it together and then reinforce with super glue and baking powder to make it rigid because the hot glue itself was just soft and uh, flexible whereas the super glue has made it rigid and that's survived quite a few nose-in landings there so yeah well, there we go. That is hobby grade rubber I'm using there. And it is rather too much. Right. Time to go.